three, two, one, go! What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my motherfucking canal. ¿Cómo están, pendejas? Espero que se lo estén pasando rete bien, porque si no, ya saben que aquí estoy yo para entretenerlas. Antes de que empecemos este video, you guys, let's go ahead and cut to a quick commercial break. Today's video is sponsored by my friends over at Mud Water. For those of you guys that do not know what Mud Water is, listen up right now. Listen, escucha, because I'm about to let you guys know who they are. Mud Water is an alternative coffee with four adagenic mushrooms and ayurvedic herbs. I myself, you guys, am not a big fan of coffee, not because of the taste, but because of the effects it has. With Mud Water, I've been able to get the same effect of feeling awake and going and energized throughout my day without feeling jittery, having anxiety, or crashy. Mud Water has one seventh of caffeine as a cup of coffee, but you're getting all the energy you need and you can drink Mud Water all day without impacting your sleep. Mud water includes ingredients such as cacao, chai, lion's mane, chaga, and cordyceps which offer a huge range of benefits including helping your mood, focus, physical performance, and your immune system. They are 100% USDA certified organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, and vegan, along with being Whole30 and kosher. Mud Water, you guys, sent me over their starter kit, and I'm about to show you guys what you guys can get if you guys order today. So, como pueden ver, aquí tenemos the first product, you guys, which is this USB rechargeable frother, which literally looks like this, you guys, and as you guys can see on the bottom, look at that. Yes, mamona. And obviously we have the USB charger and it comes with two more little whisks. Y como pueden ver, you guys, it even has its little tapadera so you guys can go ahead and put it away while it's still looking aesthetically pleasing. They also sent this 30 serving tin of mud as you guys can see the ingredients are right here and all the other information you would want is on the tin. And they sent me a free sample of their vegan coconut creamer. Yo no Say you guys, but I genuinely love, love their packaging, how like sleek and how simple it is. And a really cool thing, you guys, about their packaging, their tins, you guys, are recyclable and they work with Poshma and they pay monthly to reforestation efforts to ensure they have a net positive carbon footprint. So I'm about to show you guys how I take my mud water. I'm gonna be honest, you guys, I don't have the time of day to get fancy with my recipes, but if you have the time, you do it. The way I take my mud, you guys, is very simple. The days that I know that I'm gonna have long days. I go ahead and heat up some water, la caliento que esté bien calientita para que me abra la garganta. And then I go ahead and add one tablespoon of the product to my hot water. I usually le pongo leche, you guys, a mi cafe, but for the sake of today, I'm gonna show you guys how I go ahead and use their coconut milk. I just go ahead, add that into it, and with my frother, you guys, I go ahead and mix this up just because I like my cafe to be a little, like, esponjoso if that makes any sense. Se me enfrió poquito, you guys, porque tampoco no me quiero quemar la lengua. Y después de eso, you guys, we go ahead and have our little mud water ya bien hecha y calientita. Ooh, está calientita, but it's so freaking good. If you guys want to go ahead and get your mud water starter kit, you guys, they do have 15% off right now if you guys use the link in my description or if you guys use my discount code Alanize, which is right here. So make sure you guys go head over there and shop your mud water. Bye. Ay, amigos. Ay, qué bueno, you guys. Qué bueno que tenemos un pinche sponsorship porque ya con tanto que no les subía videos, you guys. Ya, ya me estaba poniendo bien preocupado, amigas, que me iba a quedar en la puta calle. So, thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video. Como pueden ver, you guys, con el video de hoy, today I'm going to bring you guys along because I have a very, very extremely packed day. Ahorita es súper, súper temprano. Me acabo de salir de bañar, me cambié, me puse algo súper nice porque vamos a ir a un gender reveal a gender reveal that is super 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 close to my heart and it is of one of my cousins and his wife which is also my cousin well no let me not say that because then that makes it look weird <laughs> it's not like two cousins having babies the guy is my cousin pero se casó con su novia and now we call her my cousin too does that make sense like does that make sense actually Okay, because I feel like ustedes van a estar pensando mal y van a decir 
¿Qué? ¿Los primos de Alan cogieron? No, amiga. Así no es como fue. Basically, my cousin met a girl, obviously a stranger. They fell in love, got married, and are now having a kid. I am so, so happy for them, you guys, because they've been praying so hard for this baby. Han estado juntos por muchísimos años, and they've tried, tried so hard to have a baby. And finalmente Dios les dio esa oportunidad of making them parents. I am a firm believer, you guys, in God's timing. Si por muchos años Dios no los bendició con un baby, God knows why now los está bendiciendo it's all about timing you guys, so crean mucho en el tiempo de Dios, no lo más when it comes to having babies, pero en cualquier cosa de su vida, never, never doubt God's timing, I am team girl you guys, I just love when people have girls because las puedes vestir bonitas, con sus vestiditos sus peinaditos, but que sea lo que Dios les quiera dar, sea lo que sea you guys, boy or girl, but Sí que sea team healthy baby. Eso es lo único que le pido a Dios, you guys. And I'm super happy. Angie, Ramon, you guys know que los estimo mucho. I know you guys support me and love me for who I am. So los quiero mucho. And I'm super excited for you guys for this journey. And ah, ya me voy a callar a los cinco, you guys, porque puedo llorar. They are one of my closest, like, family members. Like, con esa familia siempre andamos con ellos al 100, everywhere and anywhere. I think they're, like, possibly one of the only family members we invite. Well, not just them but like their whole little family they're like the only families that we really invite to like our christmases or thanksgivings and all that stuff so los queremos mucho y ellos significan mucho para nosotros so déjales enseño you guys it is a gender reveal so we don't really know if it's like a boy or a girl for the terms of a regalo so déjales enseño lo que les agarré i made them a little basket ustedes saben que a mí me gusta hacer las pinches baskets no sé por qué but i just fucking love it bitch so this is what i got them i got them this little basket i got them these organic plants based um, wipes. Then I got them this little pacifier with the little giraffe. This little baby care basics. This little infant toothbrush. You guys, yo cuando vi esto, I was like, oh my god, que chulada de fucking toothbrush. Like, ya casi me quería comprar uno, you guys, but I'm like, bitch, this is not gonna clean anything for me. And then I got them just this little shake, rattle, and rock little kit. Just toys, you know, I feel like all this stuff is very like gender neutral. Obviamente ya cuando sepamos que va a ser niña o mujer, y ahora sí voy a la tienda y comprarles un regalito more like towards whatever they're gonna have but I'm just super excited to go and find out qué es lo que van a tener, you guys, Martita is on her way so I'm just waiting for her, déjale llamo porque como que ya se está tardando la Martita eh, a ver bueno Hi. ¿qué haces? ya voy en camino ¿en cuánto llegas? no sé Voy a subir al frío y apenas. Ok, pues aquí te miro. Ay, Marta, ¿dónde vas? Tan peinada. ¿A dónde tan peinada? Eh, eh, eh. ¿Te lavaste la cara y el mono no? ¿Te lavaste la cara y el mono no? No, no, no. Yo todo me lavé. Cuando me baño, me baño. Pero pues te miras bien bonita, ¿eh? Te miras bonita. Yo también voy a usar algo simple, ok? Aquí te espero entonces. Ok, papá, yo no me la Bye. Bye. So we are in the motherfucking car. Martita's on her fucking way. Me and Ashley had not had anything for breakfast. I feel like we do that a lot, huh? Yeah. I'm not really a breakfast person. I'm rude. I'm like, yeah, we start I ourselves. I love breakfast, but if he starts himself, I start myself. <laughs> She's like, if um, he's not buying breakfast, then I'm, I'm not a, buying breakfast. I'm huh? shit today. <laughs> She's like, I eat when he eats. <laughs> I just don't fuck with breakfast. Like, the only times I'll have breakfast is like, do you guys ever wake up super early, especially cuando van a viajes, and you get kind of nauseous or like, te dan ganas de gomitarte? Like, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, I get that feeling a lot when I'm gonna, like, travel and I have to wake up, like, in the madrugada and, like, your stomach starts hurting and you start feeling, like, sick. Those are the only, like, true times where, like, I eat breakfast. But other than that, I kind of have my first meal after, like, 12 o'clock always. It's kind of, like, a thing that I've kind of, like, done in my head where I'm, like, I don't eat until, like, after 12, preferably 1. It's something called intermediate fasting. Look it up, you guys. It helps a lot, too, with weight loss. So that's kind of what I do. So right now, just to kill time, since Martita's on her way, we're gonna go get some Starbucks. 
I don't know if I'm gonna get like an actual meal because I might eat something I yeah in the gender reveal. So I think I'm just gonna get like a drink. What are you gonna get? She's I like a I'm whole meal. Uh, I think I'm, no, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna eat today because I wanna. I wanna look good. I'm um, like I'm gonna starve myself. Oh, because I forgot to tell you guys, but today, well, not today, tonight, we are going to a Halloween party. It is Leo Gonzalez's um, birthday, and they're doing like a Halloween party, and we're going tonight. I'm not gonna tell you guys yet. Look, I'm gonna do because I want to surprise. It's dope. <laughs> it's dope. I've been wanting to do this like forever, and I was actually gonna dress up as this for my Halloween party, but I was like, no, like I feel like the the dress is gonna be too big to like have it at my Halloween party, so I'm gonna do it today. All right, you guys. I forgot to tell you guys what we got, so I'll tell you guys right now. Se me olvidó prender la pinche cámara, you guys. Les digo que ya se me olvidó cómo ser pinche blogger because I haven't been uploading. Here, Here you go. Period. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Such a nice guy. Yeah, he was so nice. So sweet. Um, all right, you guys. So tell them what you got, Ashley. So I got an iced white mocha with sweet cream cold foam. You always get that, huh? Yeah, this is my, like my number one. And I got a venti cup of water and a cheese danish. I love cheese danishes, you guys. And since I haven't had anything to eat today, but we actually got uno. They're only like 290 calories. So if you count your calories, bitch, you should be good. You know what I mean? Have you had one of these? No. You don't like them? I've never had them. Taste it, bitch. I'm gonna put you the fuck on. Mm. They're bomb, huh? That's Did you get the cream? No, you didn't even get the cream cheese, though. Wait, if you get the on. cream cheese, here, let me get a good bite and then I'll, yeah. I'll give you like a cream cheese bite. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Take that big bite. I'm not hungry, but I got cream cheese. Oh. It's bomb. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Bitch, okay. this makes my pussy like. No, I don't want that. You don't like coffee? I don't know. I just. I liked it last time, but it was a little too sweet. It's a little sweet, huh? Pussy. It's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I just. Sweet stuff make my teeth hurt. I uh, moved me having cavities. <laughs> You're not going to the dentist for years. <laughs> Who's at the house? Oh, my mom's there. Oh, moon she is. So we just got to La Casa. Um, where's Martita? Martita ya había llegado aquí mi casa. But I'm like, where are you? Let me call her. Cause ya estaba aquí afuera. Nos ganó, eh? Hey, ya estoy aquí. Ven para el carro. You guys, excuse el cochinero, but look, Martita made some sopita fría. This looks so good, you guys. Ya se nos había olvidado también nuestro regalo, you guys. So Ashley had to go down and get it. And then sepa la chingada que es lo que trae allá Martita. I'm sure it's like her gift that she needs to like wrap up. Muy bien, Martita viene bien de soldado, you guys. Mira. No, te miras bonita. Te miras joven, juvenil. Y luego con su pinche mochilota, you guys. Parece que trae toda su casa ahí. So Martita's just gonna go pee, you guys, porque se está miando. And we're gonna get going. It is like an hour drive, you guys. Que hueva. Last night when I was telling Danny, I was like, fuck, they should have done la fiesta en la casa de mi tía. Because like it's closer. Like my aunt lives in Pomona and that's only like a 15, 20 minute drive. But they're actually doing la fiesta en la casa de mi prima, which is like the my prima la que está embarazada. And she lives like an hour 15. She lives by like where Greta lives, so I'm like, Training. fuck. Training. So, ya llegamos aquí. We are at my cousin's house después de manejar casi una pinche hora. Surprise, surprise. Miren quién está aquí. Gretel is actually here first you guys but that's only because she lives like 15 minutes away from my cousin and because she's helping my cousin decorate if it wasn't for that Gretel no estuviera aquí tempranito I'm about to find out what the gender is um I didn't really told you guys anything in the back just because they were telling me like the instructions since I'm gonna be the one with the responsibility of like knowing but I would take you guys inside for that but let's get on Señor, oh my god. Did you do these, Gretel? These are so cute. The arreglos. You guys, look at this. Look, it's like the little loteria cards, the little modelo. We have the little sombrerito. This is so cute. Gretel's over here decorating. Oh, that actually looks really pretty. El sombrero está bien bonito. So this is where they're going to do the blowing up, huh? If you guys don't know, this is Peaches' daughter. So me está tocando a mi ayudar. Mood? What? Oh my god, it's a fucking bug. Did it? No. Oh my god, you're scared of a fucking cockroach. Yes. Oh no, it's a centipede. Cause we'll look. Well, pull ah! it. Take it out. Let's get it away. Should we kill, kill it? it? Yes. No. Kill it. Yes, oh yeah, cause the dogs, huh? 
I'm mood me killing it. Just be careful. You don't want to take the Look, house down. One. Where? Right there. I die. I die. There. Just get on it. Mood, I just on me, though, huh? Boom. <laughs> no, you're good. So ya llegaron los manteles, ahora sí ya se mira como fiesta. But look how cute this is. Okay, so you guys see how it's like a little Mexican themed. My prima got these little play. Um, I think these are like coffee. What are those called? Like coffee, like the things where you put your coffee? Placers? No. Um, ¿Cómo se llaman esa cochinada? Cup holders? No. I don't know what it is, but it's like a little, it's literally like a brick. She got these in Mexico of like Latorias. Si es mosaico. Pero lo usan para como para el café. Y aquí están una lotería card and all that. Okay, you guys. So, me acabo de meter al cuarto. And I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. But for those of you guys that don't know, I'm what I'm like. Renegade. I am, what is it called? Like the gender keeper. I was like secondary gender keeper. So, I haven't known what it is. Um, I'm about to find out right now what it is because my cousin's first gender keeper like couldn't make it so it had to be me that did it but I don't know the the gender yet. It's complicated you guys are gonna be like then how'd you, how, then how'd you plan it? Complicated. In here I'm is the gender of my cousin. I'm not gonna show you guys yet because I want you guys to find out over there but I'm gonna see it for the first time so I want you guys to like get the reaction. Wait, put it down here. Oh, okay so I want it to be a girl, but I have a feeling it's a boy. <sighs> okay. okay, yeah, don't say like the gender. And the party is barely gonna start, you guys, so me and Ashley have the huge responsibility <laughs> of like not saying it to anyone. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm able to do I'm that. Not I'm not talking to anyone right now. Mike, don't talk to me. Ready? Wait, wait. Yeah. Ready? One. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Okay, what are you, team what? I'm the same as you. Team girl, but you think it's gonna be yeah. a boy? Okay, ready? Okay, yeah. Ready? Wait, I can't see. <gasps> I see you! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, I just feel like I did something illegal. I'm like, arrest me. <laughs> so happy um prima when you guys are watching this video i just want to say prima and primo i just want to say that i'm so happy for you guys that i know no matter the gender you guys are going to be super super happy and make this baby feel loved um cared for and i'm just so happy for you guys i love you guys and thank you for trusting me with this because i'm kind of like scared <laughs> i'm kind of i'm like you shouldn't have trusted me though oh God, you know i know <laughs> And now I know so like I feel like I can't even talk about the baby because I'm gonna feel like it's gonna slip out without me wanting to yep. Like whatever I'd be like, oh like I Va a estar bonita or va a estar even, bonita. even if I, I didn't fucking like know upstairs when we were talking I was gonna say girl and I was like oh my Yes, God. you know what but I mean? I didn't know. Yes. Well, I said that outside too. I said I mentioned I, I referred to the baby as a girl because I wanted it to be a girl But I was like, oh my god, don't think I know like I'm not spilling the beans yet You know what I mean? So oh. no one has to know we know. I'm just so happy But I feel a little like shook and I feel like oh my god I shouldn't have known but thank you for knowing but I can't wait for you guys to find out later on Um, You guys are gonna be like <gasps> But anyways, we're gonna go outside. Yeah, yeah, sir. Ah, qué gacho. Qué, tú te tienes que esperar, Martita. Ay, qué malo. Muy malo. No compartirías ese secreto con tu madre. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Dos, tres horitas, Martita. Oh. Sí, ya Martita ya me lo quiere sacar. Me está chantajeando, Martita. Miren, me dieron un regalito. This is so cute. Oh my God. Let me see. Let me see. This is so cute. This is so cute. It says keeper of the gender. Que bonita. But excuse me. I'm a size large. Mood. This is so cute. Que bonita. I'm going to go ahead and change into it, you guys. They also gave me a little like tarjetita that says thank you. And it says muchas gracias por toda tu ayuda. We are blessed to have you by our side on this special day. We love you with all our love. Angie, baby, and junior. Just a note to say thank you. This is so cute. I love them so much. Que bonito está esto, amigas. It's not the Mexican fucking chetos. Y'all, if you know, you know about the. Wow. Look at Martita. Le dieron una blusa. Oh, te la Hola, dos, tres. 
Marta está muy buena para trabajar para el canal ajeno, ¿verdad? Porque anda con la mía. ¡Eh! Sí, la de las Gracias, Martita. You guys, me and my mom have the same camera and I was like, damn, Martita está trabajando. Martita's been working for the wrong production team. Thank you for the content. But I started filming on hers, you guys. We're about to start doing it. I'm so excited for you guys to fucking find out, bitch. Everybody's been bugging me toda la pinche pachanga que que es, que es. Or they've been trying to fucking play mind games with me. They're like, Alan, tú qué piensas que va a ser? And I almost, bitch, casi estoy así de caer. But then I'm like, no, you're trying to get it out of me, bitch. Me miro, pero no estoy pendejo, amigos, ¿verdad? It's finally going to be the moment that I get to reveal what the baby is. But there's going to be a little trick, right? What they don't know is that there's going to be a false alarm one. The first time we're going to give them all boy and girl um, poppers. And they're gonna be confused and be like, so what is it? What is it? And then I'm like, oh, sorry, fue una confusión. And then se les va a dar the real ones. So they're gonna be fucking shook. They're gonna be like, what's going on? So como pueden ver, these are the poppers, the really big ones. And in here, this is gonna be for the parents. This is the real one, these two. So I want to make sure that, like, you know, they're good. A la cuenta de tres. Go. Aquí no, way. Go. Go. ¿Qué pasó aquí? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? You guys. Oh, nos equivocamos, nos equivocamos. Espérense, espérense, espérense. Mood, everybody say. Nos equivocamos. Nos equivocamos. Eso es para los abuelitos. Okay, let me make sure you guys, because Ashley's panicking over here. Okay, I'll tell you all yell. Go! Okay, you'll hear me. No, come home over here and then you'll let go of them. Three, two, one, go! And inside, you guys, there was a little zapatitos azules. Que hermosura, you guys. Por haber estado aquí y compartir esto. Muchas gracias a todos, a, a todos los que nos ayudaron y los que están con, aquí con nosotros celebrando esto. Muchas gracias. Es un bebé muy esperado. Yes. Y pues nada, que sigan los pasos de Dios. Que sigan los pasos de Dios. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Hey, es Team Boy, pero Team Healthy Baby. Para arriba, para abajo, para el centro y para adentro. Wasn't that the sweetest thing? How about you I guys. fucked up the fucking dogs though? Yeah, Ashley fucked it up, you I guys. I didn't fuck it up. The dogs didn't want to go out or anything. I was like, get outside! <laughs> you guys, that was so cute. I like how people were genuinely confused. They were like, what the fuck is this? That was a little plot twist, huh? Plot twist, uh, plot twist the house. So we're gonna go already, you guys, because we have to start getting ready for the Halloween party. Y todavía tengo que manejar like an hour. You guys know how I took the shot? I took a water shot because a bitch does not know. Like you shouldn't drink a drive, like period. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And even like there's people that drink like you know how like it's like a certain percentage. I get scared even being under that certain percentage. So don't drink and drive at all. Like not even if you like just one shot or like one beer. Because there's people that are like, ah, but it's not a cerveza, no amigas. Uno nunca sabe. Never so, drink and drive. Ever. So ya llegamos aquí a casita and I'm actually putting gas right now because I already know that like straight up when we like 
getting glam and everything I want to make sure that we just head out to LA because it is another one hour drive to the party so I want to make sure que el gas y todo eso ya esté hecho so aquí está la jipeta That? Bitch, my jipeta is so fucking dirty. Hasta pinche vergüenza me ha de dar. Pero no me da. No me da, amiga. Um, we're putting some gas. You guys, we have a whole ass glam team here. Bitch! It looks like a whole ass studio. Annette's been here, you guys, since fucking... She's been ready since three. Show them the fit. You gotta show them the fit. This is the fit. Do you have my mail? My correo? Vuelta. Bitch! Ah! Your nalgas are literally all out. Adam's over here. Oh my God, I'm <laughs> so I'm gonna be Snow White. So oh. I think something simple glam on the eye. You know what I mean? Cut crease wing liner. Okay. So Miss Brenda Monique um, acaba de llegar and she just did my eyes. The reason why I didn't update you guys when I first got here. Well, I did, but like when I first started my makeup is because I had left my camera upstairs. But now we're gonna get into a wig. Okay, here's the update, guys, of the glam and the wig. Um, we're looking super fucking laid. The glam is there. Oh, bitch. Period. Getting into this fucking mug. Okay, we are me. I'm here with Glam by Rose. I'm gonna leave all her information right here, but she's installing this wig, you guys. So fucking bomb. I'm so excited for y'all to see the finished look, you guys. And check her out, you guys, if you guys want wig installs. Because she's about to make me look fucking bomb. Glam is done. Come on, Angel. Yeah. Yes. Come on, Daphne. Daphne. Come on, Mel Girl. Come on, Pirata. Dalmatian. And she's like, oh. <laughs> 